Hello. So good to meet you at our global motivational meeting. We are reading World Scriptures book. These God's words that inspire me, my family, community, country, and the whole world. And we'll help you to just read these quotes and practice in daily life. Think about them, and God will give you tips how to prosper, reach salvation, and blessing in our time. As we're reading this holy book from the beginning, please find all the chapters at our message pavilion channel. You may turn on our suggestion playlist. Choose the best one for you and stay blessed all day. Let's see what God prepared for us today. Next is parental love. Being a parent calls for the noblest and most unselfish emotions in ordinary people. Rare is the parent who would um, not sacrifice his or her life for the sake of their child. Having children is a life-altering experience. Calling for moral strength to end destructive lifestyles and become responsible for role models, models to their children. Parenting challenges people as nothing else to be sacrificial passion, forgiving, in short, to develop a love that more closely resembles the love of God. Parental love is the highest stage in the family school of love. To enter into that stage, couple have a duty to have children. It is a duty to love and to their own perfection. Furthermore, parents are responsible to educate their children in the most basic matters of life, what the Father Moon calls education in hearing and norm, in heart and norm. Uh, this education has uh, three aspects. Each treated uh, in turn moral instruction, discipline, and setting an example. Scriptural wisdom regards the discipline to be an essential duty of parents uh, when done out of love and concern for they are proper God. Failure to discipline children, on the other hand, is a form of abuse because it leads to rotten character. A parent example in particular concerns the parent's example of faith and devotion to God. It is a key to the children developing their own faith. Next, parents are guaranteed guardians protecting their children from harm. Anyone who has um, had a teenage daughter knows of the sleepless night spent worried about her and thinking about how to keep her safe. The final group of passages uh, speaks about the heart of parents to unconditionally love their children, forgiving them when they fall short and wanting to be the very best for them, the essential value of children. Just got uh, God bless them and God say to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Another quote, uh, he who refrains from procreation is as though uh, he impaired the divine image. Another quote, low children are a heritage from the God, the fruit of the womb. A reward. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of, full of them. Another quote, children are the closest of a man. Another quote, the whole future of the race depends upon its attitude over children and the race which is specialized in women for many purpose, purposes or which you believe that the, the contest of the sexes in the spheres of business and politics is a worthwhile endeavor that the creation of tomorrow's generation is a race which is dying. Father, let's read quotes from the second coming Messiah, Father Samuel. Once we marry, we should have children. Some may think that uh, it does not uh, matter whether or not 
we bear children, but that is not the case. Unless we bear children, we cannot fulfill the will of love. There are four directions of love, east, west, north, and south around the center. When love is uh, centered, the, its root uh, can spread in all four directions and support that tree. Why do we need children? It is to know God's love, his love as a, our parent. We need children to know how to attend God as our parent. So we should not only give orders to our children, we should be attend them and live for them as God lived for us. Only then can we comprehend God's love. We need our children as a textbook. Without children, we are incomplete. We cannot know God's love because we cannot know how much God loves human beings his children, just as we cannot uh, know the love of a husband or wife unless we became a husband or a wife. We cannot know parental love for children until we became parents. God created us so that uh, we can learn to love by relating with each other. Hence, uh, if we do not uh, have children, we cannot become true parents. Mothers and fathers cannot uh, achieve unity without children. Why do parents pr prefer their children's love? They cannot help it. Mother and father love each other as they love their children together, not just individually. It forms a rope of love that binds together, binds mother and father into one. A chain made of uh, iron will eventually rush and break, but uh, the rope of love lasts forever. Neither money nor food can bind the parents and children. Only love can bind them. What is marriage for? It is to establish a family with children. Uh, if you do not uh, have children, your relationship may begin to deteriorate only after giving birth uh, to children can your family be secure. Even if a husband might want to divorce uh, his wife out of the resentment, if he his wife give him a son, he cannot easily divorce. Uh, he feels uh, committed to keep his family intact. For the sake of our families, we should have children. You should love your children more than you love your spouse. If you women are asked, who do you like better, your husband or your children? The correct answer should be my children. You can divorce your husband, but you cannot separate from your children. Even if you were to disown them and have their names removed from the record of your family tree, you would still be connected to them in lineage. After divorcing your husband, you might forget him. Yet if you were separated from your children, as time goes by, you will miss them more and more. Anyone who has children can understand this. Parents want their children to be better than themselves. No parent wants his children to be inferior to him. A good looking man and a beautiful woman married each other and bore a homely child. Yet, uh, if you say to them, your child is better looking than you are, they are happy. It is true. No parents uh, would they take offense of that statement. True mother gave birth to 13 children. She once remarked, nothing in the world has given me more pleasure than giving birth to my babies and nursing them at my breast. Now that I have um, grown old, I look back on those times as the most uh, pleasurable of my life. There is no multiplication in the spirit world. The multiplication of children happens only on earth. The earth is the only place where the citizens of the heavenly kingdom can be multiplied. That is why on earth you should uh, give birth to many children centering on God's true love. Yes, so powerful quotes for today. If you have difficulties, please uh, watch on my time this video. Share this video as we end this video on Happy Life Subscribers Marathon. Share this uh, great news about Messiah Second Coming to all your friends and contacts. Um, contact us for 
cooperation, consultation, and became a member of this Heavenly Parents Holy Community globally. Receive Heavenly Kingdom citizenship right now. The contacts are below and turn on suggestion playlist. Choose the best one for you and listen God's words all the day. Stay blessed. See you tomorrow with more powerful quotes. Yours, Nikolai Serpala. Bye bye for now.